Hello, you guys. It's Saturday. The girls are at their Girl Scout event. I have uh, one of our fellow Girl Scout troop people. You want to get in? Do you want to sit up front? Yeah. Uh, pick them up for me this morning. I had an amazing, amazing conversation. Like, first we were on the phone, then we decided to FaceTime with a really good friend of mine who I've known since high school last night. But I was working on headbands for Snowy Peach Boutique. I make little headbands like this. This is just an extra elastic, this green. But I make little things like this. Um, and I needed to get in, get some new ones done to take to my sister-in-law's store. So I was up late, but I have been waking up at like between like three and four in the morning lately with like horrible, horrible like headaches. Like I wake up with this like sharp pain. And so I still this morning when it was time to take the girls, I could barely open one eye. And so I had my one of their troop leaders pick them up this morning. Nikolai's with me. He's going to sleep over oh, thanks, this evening. So I'm going to go drop him off because the girls are going to a birthday party. So I'm going to meet them at the birthday party. But I ended up using some essential oils and I did like some yoga in my room this morning. And the headache feels better. It's not gone. But um, yeah. And then I played with makeup a little bit, which this is the, uh, won't bring you too close because I haven't perfected it. But uh, this is the most color I've worn on my face in a long time and I kind of like it there's something about fall in winter I just get a little bit more inspired in the summer I have a hard time putting makeup on because I just want, don't want to take the time and want to get out and do stuff but then there's something about fall where like fashion and makeup and hair I get really inspired again but anyway you have pink and blue and black right there mm -hmm. I do I do children's interpretation of makeup is my favorite thing critters. so these are the critters we picked out for uh the friends little girls little girl's birthday party that we're going to. She's not little. She's turning eight, I believe, or nine. Um, we got two little wooden bunnies, a little like beige one and a gray one, and then a little uh, mama and pup otter stacking set. So now I'm going to put together the birthday present for the birthday girl whose party we're at. And I just wanted to show you guys this really cool little set I found at Target. Isn't this cute? This is from the brand Seedling. I believe it was started by an actress from the 90s. I believe this is her company. I can't remember now. Um, but I've really liked it for years. But it's this really cute little animal necklace set. And super, super cute. And then the kids picked this out last night at Fred Meyer. This crazy splat ball. And then I also got this little tiger mask from Target. And then in here, I put this together. I just made headbands and hair clips and those little wooden toys that you guys saw. So I'm going to put this all together so we can get back in there. But I'm just going to do it in a plain paper bag. I've got tissue. I've got some little palm things. I'll show it to you guys when I'm done. But I'm totally out here barefoot because you have to take your shoes off to go into the pool. And I was like, I'm not putting my booties and socks back on. I'm just going to walk out here barefoot. And people looked at me like I was crazy. I'm going to put this present together and then we'll chat later. present for the birthday girl. I know my packing, my wrapping skills are terrible today, but I just did it quickly to get back into the party and honestly it's for a nine-year-old. They're not very critical of wrapping. I didn't even get a card because most nine-year-olds don't care about the card. So there you have it. Hello. So I didn't mention when I started this vlog at all because it started out as a day in the life and then it's kind of just morphed into like a weird weekly vlog thing again um <clears throat> that we're gonna do vlogtober we're gonna give it a shot i've never been in a position where i've been able to set up and just say okay i'm gonna vlog daily for a month straight and share it with you guys we tried vlogmas a couple of years ago but it just didn't work justin was working a ton i was still working full-time the kids were going to public school like it just wasn't the right time for our family to do that but now this month of October my main role in our household is a stay-at-home mom and a homeschooling mom and you know I'd like to someday be able to give myself the title of like online content creator do something bigger with something that I'm passionate about I just haven't quite found that right perfect thing yet um for me I've worked in the culinary field. If you guys ever want me to do like a sit down style video where I talk about all the jobs that I've had, 
um, because I've worked in a couple of different fields and bounced around and just kind of share my thoughts on like what truly happens when you withdraw or drop out of college before you finish a degree and what life kind of looks like after that because in some ways it's awful and terrible and ridiculous but in other ways I've been able to make a living and could go back to making a living without having a huge amount of student loan debt although I'd still like to finish a degree someday I'm actually like three semesters away from finishing a bachelor's degree so I should probably do that but anyway not what I turned this on for. I turned it on. We haven't told the kids yet, but Justin just got laid off. And we've mentioned him being Sorry, I'm going to switch with Chan. I'm holding the camera. Um, we've mentioned him being laid off before, and like he's home for a period of time. And his work, I think, is kind of confusing for a lot of people that are not in Alaska. Basically, Justin can go out of town for work for any amount of time. It can be a couple of weeks to a couple of months. It's just kind of how his industry that he's in is and he's in a union so um union benefits you know all those things you know what a union is my dad's a union man my brothers are both in a union my husband is in a union my brother-in-law a lot of the people close to my life are in a union so it's something that's kind of always been around my life i fully support them even before i was justin i fully supported unions so the company that he works for hires people out of the union a hall essentially is what they call it weird terminology if you're not involved in the union um, and he goes to work for a company, the company that he's been with, he's been with for years, like five, six years, I think he's had around the year work, which is a little abnormal. Honestly, what Justin does can be seasonal, where we had years when he was an apprentice where he worked in the summertime and then was laid off all winter. And we just haven't had that. And obviously we've built up, like, we've bought a house, we've bought these trailers, I'm walking in between snow machines, vehicles, things. Um, and I've worked off and on but I haven't had to bear the weight of what we haven't had to be for more than a year or so at a time a household where we both of us were working full time it didn't it didn't really work right for us because of Justin's line of work you know when he's out of town and gone it would it's just me that manages everything and so it it works the vibe for our family is better if I stay at home well now he's laid off we don't know how long for I don't know if any of you are connected to, like, the news in Alaska or anything. You know, it's oftentimes I think people look at Alaska from the perspective of, like, this really amazing, beautiful place and all this stuff. But, you know, there's people who live here and work here. And when our industries are suffering, we suffer. And there's currently some stuff with our um, state government, some stuff going on that's making it difficult for people like Justin to do what they do and make a living and support their family. So he's laid off. We just found out yesterday. So it's kind of a kind of a scary thing. We haven't had to deal with this in a really long time. Justin assured me we're going to be fine, and he's just very, very optimistic. That's one thing that makes our <laughs> relationship function, is that he's extremely optimistic, and I have a tendency to go into, like, the pessimistic side of things. I'm very optimistic when I want to be. I think I have to make myself be optimistic, I guess is what I'm saying. Naturally, I'm not an optimistic person. Uh, I am kind of like a glass half empty kind of person in certain things, um, but I'm positive with like getting things done. It's very, anyway, um, so he assured me he's going to be fine. He can go out of work on the out of work list for the hall and hopefully go to work for another company. It's just this company that he's been with, he's been with them for a long time. We've always known what to expect, you know, kind of things. And I'm sure for him, the last thing he needs is me freaking out because he's, gonna be coming home and like all the tools are gonna be coming home and all this stuff so anyway he's laid off so it's gonna change up some things but basically him being home knowing that he's probably gonna be home I mean I'm expecting at least October he'll be home it will allow us to vlog vlog I'm gonna say vlog vlogtober vlog every day in October and on the positive side of things that I'm trying to find that I have to force myself to find you know encourage myself to find is that I'll have a month where Justin's gonna get to be home when he normally wouldn't be home and we can vlog it and capture these memories with our family because it just could be one of those things where he could be home for October and then have to go out of town for work for months. We have no idea. Or he could be home for a really long time and, you know, we're going to have to deal with that, but we'll just... Anyway, I've walked around outside in our yard between these trailers for like six minutes now talking to you guys and I'm going to go pick up Nikolai from his sleepover. It sounds like he had a really good time. So I'm going to go get him. We have to go to Petco and get dog food and cat food and cat litter. Hooray. And uh, I need coffee. It's like noon and I didn't make coffee here at home this morning because I can't find my 
uh, percolator, my stove top percolator for espresso, and I really wanted some Cuban coffee this morning, and I can't find it. So, anyway, random thing. Um, we're gonna go get Nick White and move on with our day, and now it's October, and you guys are gonna see us every day, so you'll probably be sick of our faces in about 30 days, so there's that, but yeah, let's go collect my son. Oh, it has been a day today, you guys, let me tell you. First of all, Liliana and Danielle woke up and they did versions of themselves that I had to send them back to bed. I have a class that I take on Mondays from 10 to 1 and they were pretty much asleep from like 9.30 to noon and they had gotten up at like 7 o'clock like we usually do but they were like, I posted on Facebook, they were like gremlins with like, you know the Disney version of Hades where he just like kind of like just like throws these like random like bursts of a tantrum. And this time of year is notorious for that type of like kind of like morning funk from the kids and honestly I'm so glad we homeschool because last year I would have just sent them to school like that. I finished my class and then we did a couple things here at home and then we went to pick out some new math workbooks because my math curriculum that I ordered is back ordered and I just don't want to wait any longer for it so I went and picked up three new workbooks and then we popped over to my sister-in-law's store because I just want to say hi because we do that. And then we went and took the truck to get the fuel filters replaced and the kids worked on their math while we were there and it was great. And now we're home and it's pretty much dinner time but the kids are going to finish up some math and then we're going to do Moby Max which is a program that we're using online. I did not use it last year. I decided to use it this year and I'm going to make dinner and finish cleaning stuff up and Justin comes home this evening so he'll be making vlog appearances very very soon although he doesn't get it he thinks it's strange that i talk to myself but i'm really talking to you guys when i talk to the camera it doesn't feel weird to me but it feels very weird to him and he thinks it's insane so this is the math workbook that i picked out today the twins since they're both in third grade i got them the grade three and Danielle, I got the grade two, and honestly, she's kind of flying through it. I should have gotten her the grade three, but if she finishes it, I'll just move her up to another one. But this is a Spectrum Math. I really do like these. They're very straightforward. This is very, like, simple math, and it moves you through. Like, this is, you can help your child with this, I promise you. Um, And it comes with uh, this, which is handy. If you have to turn in grades, you know, it's kind of nice when I have my own record keeping and I have my own lesson planning but it's nice when books that are like these 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 workbooks are $12.99 and it comes with this and then it comes with the answer key and so I just tore the answer key out not because I'm really like I'm not worried that the kids are going to look at the answer key and figure out how to use it but because it just makes it easier if I can literally just like flip this open and have the book open and look at my answers it just makes life a hell of a lot easier excited I'm watching a little bit of the DeFranco fam. Um, well, not a little bit. I'm watching a 14 minute vlog, obviously, because I love them and I think they're great. And Phil just won a, I believe a streaming award for his, uh, Philip DeFranco show, which I'm super excited about because I've been watching it like since 2009. Is that when he started it? Whenever he started it. I don't know. So I'm just happy to see that. But anyway, cleaning out the office. I know this little thing is all over the place, but this picture is from, I think, 2014 this had to have been 2014 2013 at the Halloween carnival Nikolai was a mummy Liliana was a skeleton fairy I believe a dead skeleton fairy and Danielle was a dead nature fairy and I made most of their costumes Liliana I lucked out because that shirt was just a shirt from like Carter's um but her hat I like bought and made her hat I made her tutu I made Nikolai's mummy costume I made everything Danielle's wearing like I made the tutu and I bought a shirt and glued those flowers and everything to it I made her little headdress thing yeah cute 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 I was excited when I found this and then look at this is me probably age four was I four or five there I don't know I don't know but that was me and then I also found this little picture super cute of the twins back from first grade and Danielle in kindergarten was asked what she wanted to be when she grew up and was a farmer and that little face is just my favorite. This is what our homeschool has apparently turned into. Luna scratches at the door until she gets to come in and now she's just wandered all over and now she's just with Nikolai while we're finishing up our all about reading activity for today. Hi. <laughs> 
But it was quite fun. Danielle's at sessions. She does. She just wanders around the room and is a distraction. But if we don't let her in, she's still a distraction because she just scratches at the door. Yeah. Again, in the truck because I live my life shuffling three children around. Um, not really. Justin's actually home. He took Danielle to her sessions this morning. I'm going to get her. The twins and I just finished up our all about reading and our geology for the day. Liliana's gonna come with me to get Danielle. Hi. And my eyebrows, I don't know what happened today, but like this one, oof, I don't know. We're just gonna ignore them, but we're gonna go get Danielle. Some days you win at life and some days you eat your lunch at three o'clock over your kitchen sink. Hey guys, it is me, Liliana. I am going to I am just like this because I'm going to drama. I am at Target with no kids. weird or something sounds weird like I hear it or smell it before anybody else and I noticed it yesterday and we had just gotten the fuel filters changed on Monday and sure enough the fuel filters were leaking so he had to take the truck back in so he had Danielle I took the twins to session and now I came to Target because I needed printer ink for a printer because you homeschool you print all the time but it's amazing because printer ink is 40% off. I won't get 40% off. So that's super awesome. And then I got myself salted caramel mocha and a cheese finish because I'm by myself and why not? And I just walked over to cleaning products to get dishwasher products and it's on clearance. So that's awesome. It's been a good day so far. Now I gotta go teach kids. So we'll check in later. I'm out of the house with no children and no husband. I love having them with me. I truly, truly do. However, I am heading out to an open house at a local motorsports dealership, Team PC Skidoo, for those of you who are local, because AMMC Racing, who I'm on the board of directors for, is there for our open house, like for, excuse me, Team PC's open house. We have a membership drive, so People are coming out to sign up for their memberships, whatnot. Uh, we had 20 perk up coffee cards to give away to the first 20 people who did show up their membership. So I just stopped and got perk up because, well, it's our favorite local coffee shop and it's right by our house. But um, I just kind of needed to pick me up. I did a salted caramel mocha, but as a brevet because I've got to indulge every now and again. If I'm being real, this, just in the true kind of true honest perspective you guys want to see what my car looks like right now since i vlog my car all the time do you see this there's my purse i've become addicted to these in many many forms but this is one of my favorites there's random kid clothing and a bag and a sears receipt there's this it's awful i need to clean the jetta i just haven't yet i haven't had time so i'm going to go off to this i'm going to stop at the grocery store on my way home we're out of staples like staples that keep my household running do you know what it's like you know what it's like when your household runs out of those things that you absolutely need to survive and everyone is kind of just in this weird state of disarray and slight grouchiness like we're out of peanut butter so the kids haven't made themselves peanut butter and jellies for days which they are all addicted to if i'm being real they eat like one to two a day and they're not their actual meals they just like for a snack eat a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and then, huh, Nikolai just rode by me with his friend on a bike ride. He's probably like, what's my mom doing? Vlogging? Uh, anyway, there's that. And then we're out of milk and cereal. So again, like important core staples, half and half. So we haven't had half and half for our coffee at home, which is a must. So I have to stop at the store. And for those of you who don't live in Alaska, you might be like, why the hell does she even care that she has to go to the store? Well, PFDs, our permanent fund dividend, you can Google it, uh, were released this week. So we all got some money for those of us who are Alaskan residents, and the stores are usually bonkers. It's kind of like a weird Black Friday-ish type thing for Alaska, a little bit, as, as close as I can describe it to people who haven't experienced it firsthand themselves. And so I tend to like not go to the grocery store until Monday when everyone's like back at work, but 
we're out of the staples Off for the day uh it's actually the afternoon it's like two in the afternoon but you know someone may have had a bit of a wine hangover this morning if you know what i mean not me i don't know who you're talking about not me i didn't drink too much wine with my friends last night no never we got jungle berry crunch yep. from fred Meyer. two boxes what was our other cereal for this week we got We got Cocoa Marshmallow Safari. We did. And then two I got boxes. some oh, yeah. new stuff for myself. I got two blueberries, a raspberry, and a pumpkin. Oh. Red Meyer doesn't have the coconut or strawberry rhubarb, which drives me nuts, but I got those. Justin got these. We got a bag of red grapes. Two things of organic half and half. Ha ha. Our favorite soup that we add rice to usually. Perfect for fall and winter. Two bunches of organic bananas. That's why you can come over here. A bag of tortilla chips. <coughs> Great tomatoes. Lots of yogurt that was on closeout for some reason. So this is just the Stonyfield organic Greek vanilla. So we can add like you know, you're gonna be the stuff one to it. Yeah. And then the girls really like this wild berry and acai from Siggy's. And so this was on sale. So we got that. And then... We got this marinade because I'm going to use it to attempt to make some type of something close to Mongolian beef. I picked up a bone broth because I am going to have dental work. I have to get some fillings filled here in the next week or so. And I've heard like sipping warm bone broth after reduces the amount of pain. And I always have a lot of pain when I get my teeth worked on. So I figured I'd try this. This is the Pacific Organic Turkey with Rosemary, Sage, and Thyme. And they also had a ginger type one, I believe, too. So it was little, and it was under $2. You need to put this in the, get in the salad. I forgot to put that in the salad, but I got a thing of pre-cut broccoli florets because I wasn't feeling cutting up broccoli because for the last two weeks I've cut, like, four heads of broccoli a week. This bread was on closeout, so we got three yeah, loaves because it was, like, $2.50. Nice. So one loaf will keep out, the other one will freeze. Fran's Organic Honey Oat. And then what else do we have over here? These were on sale. My favorite. These are the noodles I buy to make homemade. A bunch of tomatoes on the vine, and then our stuff from there. And I also got a gallon of milk Mwah. Mwah. and Mwah. a thing of like kale, spinach, lettuce mix. But those were our groceries. Do you want to show everyone shoes, real quick? Oh well, yeah, mine are gonna be that. All the kids and Justin got new shoes today too. Mom, what about the clothes? These are so, Liliana's. Liliana got nice those. And pink. Danielle's the same, but basically purple. These are yep. the colors they have. And Danielle's have crazy laces. Like, the laces are weaved. Hey! So, those are Danielle's. And, and what did you get? Here are the colors they have. Yeah, that's true. They do have those. Oh, yeah. Dad got... He got a pair of these New Balance. And he wants to take them back so he can get veins. Yeah, he wants to get shoes that look like Nikolai's, which we tried to talk him into at the store, and then he but said he no. But he dropped out! And he changed his mind. So... These are mine. And those are Nikolai's, which I almost want a pair of these myself, because this color, I and gray like and black, is one of my favorites. This yeah, about that abrupt ending, my apologies. I did not intend to do Vlogtober until midway through a week when I had kind of started doing this day in the life video and then it morphed into a weekly vlog and then I realized it was October and Vlogtober so the next few videos will be better. I apologize for these ones. I feel like every single day of footage on this just ended extremely abruptly. So I've taken the weekend off and I'm going to come back with Monday being our first like Vlogtober where I have a fresh perspective and I need to make sure that I end the days so you guys can see something cohesive and not just a hot mess like this was. But thanks for watching.